Well, it's awkward sitting here with people walking around and they hear me talking to myself. But right here we have, um, it's a painting by Clifford Still from in 1956. He really didn't even title it. It's just 1956, J number one, untitled. So that's what you have there. It's obviously an abstract painting. Um, I stared at it for a really long time and didn't get anything out of it. I asked a few people as they came by what they thought of it and one person actually said it looked like a sunset. So that was kind of cool, I guess, but I, I, that's kind of what got me into thinking in terms of light. Um, yeah, I couldn't help but actually read a little bit on what they had to say about the painting and that Clifford Still himself just really got into a, I guess, a time period where he enjoyed doing dark to light figures. He, he just en enjoyed the, the uh, contrast in the colors, so he used them. So, you know, maybe he decided that, you know, he just would just draw something light to dark and, and you know, have nothing behind it, just having fun with it. Or he's actually using it to maybe subconsciously has a message Luckily, based on, on the time that I had uh, researched, luckily I read up on, you know, it was, it was kind of the, what came up with our Black History Month, all the things that were going on when the, the blacks were merging with, with our society and, and, you know, all the problems were being caused. If you look where the solid black is outside of it, everything surrounding the black, it looks as if it was torn away from the rest of the, of the canvas there, but at the same time, surrounding the black is lighter and lighter colors starting with white and then it slowly it gradually gets darker as it fades away so it's as if the darkness itself is emitting the light the red and the orange just as if it were in the sunlight if you're if you're coming straight from sunlight if there was an obstacle there, it's a mountain anything it would it portray a darker tint of color so it's just like watching the sunset or sunrise but then the same thing happens up again there's just a glimpse of it in the top corner same thing where the the black is emitting the light, or it seems to emit light away from it. So maybe, you know, he, he could have been trying to say that, you know, the darkness is not the problem. The darkness would be the solution. The black would be the solution to our society. Other than that, it could have been a more simple message of saying that surrounding any darkness, there is light. I mean, there is, there is I guess, several different ways to look at it, but uh, that's a definitely two options I came up with. Um, I guess the only way I can see repetition is, like I said, the two different black spots that are both portraying the same thing. You can see the light coming away from it. And they, he used the different shades of color to, to, I guess, symbolize the light coming from the darkness. And uh, I guess it would be considered a balanced painting just because, I mean, really without seeing the entire thing you really couldn't tell what was what so in seeing the entire thing and actually I guess partially having get described what I believe would be the cause it would help you to you know to, to learn what the whole painting was about so the, the seeing the lightness around the dark explains what the darkness is so I guess they would they would describe the the blackness as the focal point um, other than that, this is the Untitled Painting.